Field work is picking up around the country, but weather across the Midwest has made for some interesting conditions. As we get into this year's planting season, we take a look in this week's Ag Week cover story. Planters are finally in the field at Jorgensen Land and Cattle in Ideal, South Dakota, just a week after blizzard conditions. Well, it finally really just got started for us. It's been a really tough winter. Um, I mean, you wouldn't believe it, I guess, but a week ago it was blizzarding here and now I'm planting in dust. So we are very grateful right now for what we can do now that we can do it. But this year, planting is very far behind. And it's actually about, uh, I would say, about a month late. Uh, normally, we'd like to be seeding this time March, you know, middle of March or so. And actually, in last year, in 2022, we started seeding on uh, Valentine's Day, uh, February 14th. But because of the long winter that we had, we are quite behind. After a long wait, they're happy to have the planters running in the field again. It's awesome to finally get out and get some seed in the ground. You know, you never know on uh, spring grains in this part of the world, it's kind of a, a fine line. If you're not out by April 1st, usually the, the yield potential drops. But so hope, hopefully we can get this grain up and out of the ground and going. It's really nice to be back in the field and in the tractor. It makes me smile. But to the east in northern Minnesota, planting was still a ways off in mid-April. A string of days with nighttime and daytime temperatures above freezing melted much of the snow cover in northwest Minnesota, causing ponds of water in fields, but not filling the ditches. It looks like a lot of that water might be going into the ground, which mm -hmm. is a great thing. Ideally, farmers who raise crops near Crookston, Minnesota, would like to be in the field in mid to late April, but wet conditions have delayed that for the past few years. But planting start dates aren't as critical as they used to be. The equipment that's available today allows the grower to have a little bit more flexibility and a little bit of ability to, to recover from a late planting date. But in southern Minnesota, this year's moisture has set producers up for success. A lot of that snowfall fell on ground that hardly had any frost. It became available soil moisture, so the bank account was low on soil moisture. We had some room to put some of this moisture that we've had this spring, so I think we're in, in good shape. However, a weekend snowstorm has caused some planting delays and concerns for producers. Those wet, soaking wet conditions where it's cloudy all day and drizzly and the soil never even gets a little bit dry, then I really get concerned about it. You can read much more in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.